Hey everybody, uh, welcome back. This is how another video for you. And uh, what you're looking at here is the uh, K7000 monitor that um, my uh, friend Patrick had in a cabinet he bought. And uh, if you recall in the earlier video, the colors were all messed up on it. Um, well, I was able to uh, fix that mostly. Um, I did this by uh, adjusting the yoke on it. The yoke must have been completely off or or maybe just, I don't know, <laughs> it was so bad if you remember the colors. Um, we've got the test pattern up there. You can see, um, if we get in close, over now with my lens. Can I get in close enough? Okay, so you can see that the convergence in the center of the screen is really good there. You just barely see any overlap. Got a little bit off up in the corner here. And uh, you can see right there. Um, it's running off the, and also the, the contrast. You see the red is running. I should probably turn the red drive down a little bit here. Red cutoff, I mean. One second, I'll get right now. So the red cutoff, what it does is it, it's the point at which it stops displaying red. So we just turn that down a little bit so we don't see red on the screen when it's black. As you can see now, it doesn't, you don't see red dots on the screen. Okay, so, all right, so getting back to this, um, I'm going along the border, so you can see the convergence is pretty good here. I didn't even touch the convergence rings on this monitor. Um, so you get down here in the corner. This corner was really bad. It was green. I mean, the green was bad. Um, if we go back, let's go to the red screen. You can see the red looks pretty good all over the screen there. Go to the green screen. Green looks good. Lower right hand corner here. You see the green is nice and solid. Now the thing to note here is this chassis is still a mess. Um, I haven't done anything to the chassis except for to fix the uh, the uh, video input headers right there which were broken. Um, whoever worked on it just did a really bad job. Um, so um, when I give this, I'm going to give this to uh, Iconoclast518. Uh, um, I'm, I'm not even going to bother with doing anything with this chassis. I, I got enough chassis to cap, so I would suggest that he cap it and reflow um, the solder joints on it to get this thing working properly. Um, let's see here. Now, let's move on to blue. And uh, blue looks pretty good. The only thing I, I have a problem with is I got a little dark spot up here in the corner. And uh, I think in normal gameplay that wouldn't, that's not going to be a problem. Um, in order to adjust the yoke properly, I mean, to get it so that it worked good for the rest of the screen, this corner here still was a little messed up. And uh, it's hard, really hard to adjust the yoke with a bad chassis that's not displaying the image centered. Um, when I adjust, there's the, the horizontal position pot on the back, and uh, this screen won't even lock when it's on. I turn it on most of the times. So I have to adjust it to a certain point just to get the screen to lock with an image. Other times, you'll get a scrambled image on here. So, matter of fact, well, I don't want to do it now while I'm talking about this, but um, but I adjust this, and it looks really good considering <laughs> what I had to work with here. Um, so, yeah, that's, I think that little tiny bit in the corner, um, you know, normal gameplay, it's not even going to be seen. We're talking about this is a little dark, and it's just slightly dark there, and it's not on the other colors. If we go to the red screen, it's not there at all. The green screen, nothing there. Um, when I start adjusting this, I was actually having more problems on this side. The whole they got a pin cushion on this side. Now it might be because the chassis is for a 19 inch K7000. I'm not sure, um, but getting the image to overall the best picture, um, there's a, this corner had to be sacrificed a little bit. At least with my, I was I was working on this for about three four hours just trying to get it perfect. Um, but anyway, so here's a few tips I have when you go to, to set up a yoke. The first thing you do, I'm not going to do this right now, but um, here is the, the yoke is this, uh, this uh, series of, there's two coils in here, horizontal deflection and vertical deflection. And um, they're controlled by these wires right here. The horizontal, the horizontal de deflection is, uh, let's see here. Well, the yellow, li yellow wire is, never mind, I'm not even going to get into it. <laughs> I want to just talk about this actually. But anyway, so you loosen the screw here to loosen the yoke. And then you have these rubber, I call them chucks, 
that you take out from the back of the yoke. Those actually hold the, the tube in place, I mean the yoke in place. Um, so once I loosened, once I took those out, um, then I ended, found that I had to actually push the yoke back further than it normally is. You see this hot glue here? That was actually on the neck of the tube and I had to bend it up so I could slide the yoke back further. It wasn't back far enough. That's why the it had that uh, the color bars on the sides. So I was able to push it back. And then once I pushed it back, I found that you, what you do is you lift up on the yoke, make sure it's centered, get the image centered, and then you slide the this top ch chuck in there, and it'll hold it up in the up in the vertical position. Once you got it like that, then you can slightly adjust it um, and sh insert these side chucks in once you get it in a good position, and then just nudge them in a little bit until they're until the image is perfect. And uh, once you're done, tape them back down again. Uh, I didn't have any of the almost it's almost like a th athletic tape that was on these originally holding them in place the stuff right here and so I had to use uh, uh, duct tape I'm sure James will love that <laughs> he can change it if he wants um, I don't think it makes any difference um, what tape you use it's not um, I don't think the duct tape is uh, magnetic in any way it doesn't seem to affect the image so I think we're good the other thing is I had to take a actually took a conversion strip out of the tube this one right here it was up in this corner here and uh, you'll see that this end here of the conversion strip that's the end that has the piece of metal in it it's not magnetic at all and you just ins they get inserted up in here and that it affects the uh, the image so I'm gonna give this to James in case he wants to fiddle with it at all but um, yeah, and here's a, I have a few brand new conversion strips which are really hard to come by. And uh, yeah, so these are my precious, precious conversion strips. Now you can make your own. Um, all you have to do is like, you, know, you just get yourself a strip of tape, of plastic, and then tape on a piece of metal. So it's not like you need anything special and some double-sided tape. So you can make your own conversion strips. But uh, having some real ones is good to have. That's my stash. You see, I have a precious few of them. I have, looks like I have four of them there so yeah that's what I want to uh, talk about I'm in a kind of a tight quarters right now I've got all the virtual boy cabinets right opposite me so I can't get a really good image of what I'm you know just far back uh, pit view of what I'm doing here and then I've got the cabinet right here so it's kind of tight but uh, I want to show you guys that uh, I got this uh, tube looking pretty good um, the rest is up to I kind of class 518 to get the chassis look at working good and um, so you want to check his channel out, and uh, hopefully he will get working on this chassis right away and uh, have a video of it up um, with the image looking really good. I mean, right now it looks fine, um, but let's see if I cycle the power what happens. There we go. So that's what happens. So you have to fiddle with the, you have to fiddle with the horizontal position pot to get it to lock properly, and you have to cycle, I have to cycle the power like five or six times, if not more, to get a good image there. So yeah, that's why the chassis needs some work. So it's a real pain to get this thing adjusted. There we go. That time it worked. So yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, I have another video for you coming up.